So it's been a while since I've uploaded. My bad. There was a thing going on. I probably will not talk about that thing for a very long time. I've been working on two different projects related to Marvel Snap. At least one of those should be happening next week. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you this cool challenge that I did. Uh, at least I think it's cool. So therefore, there's a decent chance that you'll think it's cool too. In the background, you're watching my final climb from rank 80 to 100 on an account where I had zero cards unlocked. I say zero cards unlocked. That's not exactly the case. Uh, the goal of the challenge was to hit infinite without redeeming any cards after level 16, which is the level that you require Odin on. So that means I have zero mystery cards unlocked. So every card that I have unlocked is either from the recruit season, the starting cards, or the first 16 levels of the collection track. So I don't have any pool one cards, any pool two cards, or any pool three cards. I came up with the idea to do this challenge last season, but it was too close to the end of the season to be able to actually do it. There was no way I was going to have time to do it. So I decided to do it this season after I hit infinite on my main account. By the time you're seeing this video, I actually finished the challenge quite a while ago. It's probably like 10 or so days ago. I finished it on the 21st and I think I only really started uh, like a week before that. Uh, originally, I intended to give you a very detailed breakdown of my journey to infinite where I talk about every different deck update I made, uh, how I approached the game differently and the, the process of unlocking the first 16 cards even. But honestly, I found that version of this video was way too long and uh, it honestly wasn't that interesting. So I'll give you the too long didn't listen to version. So I started my climb to infinite with this deck that you see on screen. It's basically a budget version of an Odin reveal deck. And honestly, I think it's totally possible to hit infinite with this deck. The main issue is that a lot of games come down to 50 50s with white tiger. And that can be a little bit stressful, especially with the predictive power that bots have. So I started experimenting with non white tiger lists. Mainly that meant focusing on Kazar, but there's a pretty small number of one drops available to this type of uh, deck building restriction, only being able to use uh, collection level 16 cards. So honestly, Honestly, I think it was even less consistent than the White Tiger route. What led me to finding my ideal collection level 16 deck list, the deck list that I used to hit infinite from rank 80 to 100, was a hot location. The hot location was the negative zone, and I knew that I had access to two cards that could take advantage of the negative zone. One of those cards is Colossus, who's essentially six power on the negative zone. And then I also had Mr. Fantastic, who was great at adding power to the negative zone without actually being a part of the negative zone. So I had a clear strategy in sight. My idea was to steal the negative zone with Colossus and Mr. Fantastic. From there, I realized I already had two ongoing cards a part of my strategy, so I thought it would be worth running Spectrum. And because we're running Spectrum, I decided to jam in a couple other ongoing effects. We went with Ant-Man, Punisher, and Kazar, and of course, Iron Man. Uh, because we run Kazar, we want to at least run a few one-drops, so we already run Ant-Man, so that's nice. Uh, then I grabbed a couple more one-drops. I went with Hawkeye and Nightcrawler because I thought those were decent enough one-drops that we could get away with running. I went with Medusa and Star-Lord, just as decent two-drop cards that generate a lot of power for their energy costs. And my last lot went to Hulk because he combos well with Iron Man and he can also solo win the negative zone if I don't get off the Colossus stuff that I'm going for. Or really he can solo win any lane. And bam, that's my deck that I ended up with. This deck was surprisingly successful. I have no idea how it would perform outside of a negative zone hot location, but I have a sneaking suspicion it would still be pretty decent. The Colossus and Mr. Fantastic synergy with the negative zone is very real and it had a smaller impact when locations like Clintar came up, but it's still a pretty decent impact. Especially against bots because they seem to avoid the locations that give negative power even if they have a decent answer for it i mean if they've got a colossus they'll put a colossus in there but outside of that they they usually kind of steer away from them speaking of bots and uh, bot behavior in general i will say i did face a lot of bots during this climb the vast majority of my games were against bots i did verse a number of players i didn't keep track of how many i will say i want to make something very clear this challenge isn't a skill check anybody can do this you can hit infinite right now on a brand new account using a similar deck list like this i am not especially talented at this game it really is not uh, a difficult challenge it's just very time consuming. Part of the reason it's so time consuming is just because bots can steal wins from positions that you would never even think to try. Stuff like Scarlet Witch into Isle of Silence on your Iron Man lane. That's something a player would never even try to go for. But you know, if that happens, it's going to be minus four or minus eight cubes for you. And that really sucks. So when you're making a climb with a deck like this, one that's obviously limited, I think you really have to focus on when cubes go up and make sure that you're not uh, over committing to a game that you otherwise don't have to. One thing that was really fun uh, after I hit infinite, it was cool to go through and actually unlock all the mystery cards that I had built up over time uh, because obviously um, I wasn't 
redeeming them so i had a bunch of these mystery cards just sitting here and it was fun to open them all up i didn't quite hit pull three by the time i hit infinite but a few days afterwards i actually opened up my first pull three card on this account because i intend to keep playing on this account it was just i wanted to do this one challenge before i started opening up those cards and believe it or not the first card i pulled in pull three was actually magic which i thought was pretty cool but yeah that's my story i hit infinite with an account that had zero cards unlocked for a while there i was actually struggling with the white tiger deck i thought it might have been a challenge that was too difficult with some of the bots being able to read uh, certain things and i was communicating with Torquin quite a bit during this time and i had uh i had told him bro this challenge might be rough and he said it was basically impossible so um shows what he knows so yeah if you're worried about not being able to hit infinite in this game because of your collection have no fears because it is definitely possible even with zero cards unlocked but yeah that's gonna be it for me stay safe keep being awesome and i'll catch you in the next one